Okay, okay, okay. Everything is set and everything is recording. Hey, what's happening all my dragonlings? I am the Dragon God of Gaming, Damien Dragon, and welcome back to another episode of the Gaming News, where I run down a list of all the gaming news, facts, rumors, trivia, and everything coming out the gaming industry this week. Now, I'm going to be trying something new. I'm going to be putting some gameplay with my, uh, edit my um, editing... Well, not editing. I'm not editing in. I'm just, you know, playing back. A, I'm playing back some stuff that I recorded last night after WrestleMania Night One. So, let's get straight into the gaming news. As you can see, there's a little bit of a gaming th setup up top, and I have a bunch of stuff coming on the side. So, first off, let's get started with this. I'm going to load replay. I'm just going to let it run. I'm going to talk about the gaming news. For those of you that really just like the gameplay and everything, you guys can just watch the gameplay. So, we have a lot to talk about today. Resident Evil, we there's something on Resident Evil. The new map has been um, released. Also, there's something on Uncharted and Days Gone. And also, Xbox Game Pass. So... Let's get started and get straight in. <laughs> okay, first off, Uncharted. Sorry, let me. This is still new to me. First off, let's talk about Uncharted. This is coming out from. Um, um, Sony Studios, but this is uh, being reported by NME.com, and this is written by Alan Wen. They say, Days Gone sequel and new Uncharted game reportedly cancelled by Sony. Ben Studio are now create, working on a new game that will be part of, uh, of a brand new franchise. So, let's see. It says, Sony's Ben Studio is reportedly not getting a sequel to its open world Zombie game days gone According to Bloomberg the first game's lengthy development and mixed critical reception meant that days gone 2 wasn't seen as a viable option The Oregon based studio was reportedly split into two teams one supporting the last of us developer naughty dog with a multiplayer game While a second group was assigned to work on a new uncharted game with supervision from naughty dog as the Uncharted series is also a Naughty Dog IP, members of Ben's studio were reportedly unhappy with this arrangement and feared it would, it would end the studio becoming absorbed by Naughty Dog. Ben's studio is, however, now working on a new unannounced game that will be part of a new franchise. Meanwhile, Naughty Dog has been hiring developers for its multiplayer games since last month. The same report indicates that an unannounced new studio had pl also planned to remake the first Uncharted, but this was considered expensive and required too much added design work. Instead, this studio decided on a PS5 remake of The Last of Us, which has been reportedly been taken over by Naughty Dog, as well as remakes. Sony is also working on multiple movies and TV show adaptations of its own of its PlayStation games. These include the upcoming Tom Holland starring Uncharted movie. Sorry. HBO TV series of The Last of Us and a live action of Ghosts of Tsushima. <laughs> so, Ben Studios is, is did not want too much in the way of dealing with Naughty Dog. In all honesty, I really do not blame them. But in all honesty, I do believe that, um, you know, the Uncharted series is an extremely expensive series. It's extremely expensive to take care of it, but you want something, it's all just, I'd say more superficial than anything else. Um, the Uncharted series probably will still go on. Days Gone, I'm not very sure about, but you, you know, never say never in these types of things. <clears throat> so, that's all there is for Uncharted at the moment. Next up. We have Resident Evil Village. 
For those of you that don't know, Resident Evil Village is the new upcoming Resident Evil game. Um, we got a good look at the new villain of the story, Lady Dimitrescu. But we never got a full look at the map. So. Boom. Okay. Alright, this is being broken by bcgamer.com. This is what this says. Here's a look at Resident Evil's Village's new map. We're also getting our first look at an important character, Mother Miranda. I don't have anything on Mother Miranda at the moment, but I do have the actual map. So I'll be showing that in a minute. Any new game in the Resident Evil French Oh wait, 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 wait. Sorry, I'm I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. This is written by Corbin Davenport from PCGamer.com, and he goes as thusly. Any new game in the Resident Evil franchise is sure to get folks excited, but the meme avalanche that ensued over Resident Evil Village's Lady Dimitrescu was something different. She's been the focus of attention for the last few months, but Capcom has recently branched out to show the world map and a new character. IGN got a peek of the map, which shows... The location of Castle Demetrescu, where the PS5 demo takes place, and the tall vampire lady lives in the north. Heisenberg's factory, House Benavido, Morisot's reservoir, and a few other interesting locations are scattered around below. There's a large sea monster near the bottom of the map, and what appears to be a dragon or other large flying creature near Castle Demetrescu. And... Before I go any further, I do want to show off that map, so, boom. That is, this is the map of um, Resident Evil Village. So, hold on, I, I do want to expand just a little bit. It shows off, It's it just shows it's really fucking good. And yes, this is what is being shown. It actually looks really nice. It's really unique. I cannot wait to have um, all this. Um, I'm. I do want to play the new Resident Evil when it comes out. It's gonna look really freaking good. So it says we're also getting our first look at Mother Miranda, who plays an important role in the village. Though Capcom is keeping her, I'm keeping quiet on details. The newly released screenshots show a portrait of Mother Miranda, seemingly depicted as a religious icon or deity. Game director Moramasa Sato told IGN, Mother Miranda and the inner side of her character are extremely important factors in the game. Resident Evil Village is set to be released on May, 9th, May 7th, sorry. and if you happen to have a PS5, there's a playable demo you can try out, or just read about us trying it out. Besides, PC... Besides PC, the game will also be available on PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, and Stadia. I cannot wait for uh, Words of the Evil Village. That's actually going to be a game I'm, I'm going to be wanting to cover, in all honesty. Um, actually, I may... Um, I may cover it here, in all honesty. <clears throat> but you never know. You never know what I might want to be able to do. So, yeah. Here, let me get into another um, thing here. Yeah, if you if you guys can check, if you guys can see, I did a random game just in case it this ran long, which of course I did. Alright, so Resident Evil Village is going to be a really good, um, and it's going to be a really good game. I cannot wait, because it's going to look so freaking good. So, um, I might be playing Resident Evil Village over here, so you never know what I'm going to do. So, stay tuned. Stick around. It's going to be awesome. Anyway, um, last but not least, we have... Xbox Game Pass. For those of you that don't know, Xbox Game Pass has been crushing it as of lately. See the last episode I did? <laughs> but this is being broken by comicbook.com and 
This is written by Tyler Fisher. Fisher? Fisher? It said Xbox Game Pass could be coming to Steam. Well, let's see how this is going to work. Xbox Game Pass may be coming to Steam. In the past, we've heard that Xbox Game Pass is coming to Nintendo Switch and even PlayStation consoles. But so far, none of these rumors have come to fruition. That said, it looks like rather than being a popular and growing subscription service to Nintendo and PlayStation, Xbox boss Phil Spencer and his team may bring it to Valve's dominant PC storefront. The report comes the way of Tyler McVicker, an industry insider best known for his scoops and reports on all things Valve. Speaking during a recent Q&A over on YouTube, McVicker revealed that Valve is trying to get the subscription service on Steam. Unfortunately, this, this is all McVicker reveals. In, all, uh, in other words, there's no word this, mm, this pursuit is going on going or if Microsoft are interested. Phil Spencer has said in the past he wants to bring Xbox Game Pass to as many platforms as possible. But to do that, Xbox Live Gold has to be made available on the same platform. Which is a big reason why we haven't seen the subscription service on Nintendo Switch, PS4, PS5. Further, Microsoft is interested in the PC space with Windows Store, which may or may not complicate the deal. Alas, all we can do is speculate. If Xbox Game Pass on Steam is being discussed by Valve and Microsoft, neither have tipped that their hand their hat to these discussions, who have either commented on this new report from McVicker. For now, take everything with a grain of salt. While this seems like something that could happen, there's probably a reason why it hasn't happened. If Microsoft were to bring Xbox Game Pass to Steam, Valve would presumably get some type of cut. And if that's going to happen, Microsoft is going to ask for something in return, like Steam or Xbox or maybe a new Left 4 Dead game. And to be honest, that should... That should entice anybody to, you know, get their hands, you know, you know, get hands a little bit sway on all that. In all honesty, I feel very confident in saying that possibly um, Xbox Game Pass could poss possibly make that jump. But you never know. Things don't happen randomly. It's just, it is what it is until the end. So, you know, not everything is going to be done if, if it's reported. It is or is not going to happen. So we never know until, you know, somebody pulls the trigger and say, yes, we're doing this. So always, again, always take that with a grain of salt. At any rate, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for listening. I do hope you guys have a lovely day. I appreciate you guys joining me today on another episode of the Gaming News. It's been incredible. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed the new, you know, whole layout set. I have um, a little bit of gameplay. I am the Dragon God of Gaming after all. As you can see, these are replays from stuff I've done the night before. So, I hope you guys enjoy this regardless. I enjoy making these as much as you guys love seeing them. I hope everyone just enjoys the rest of their day. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are lovely. And I hope everyone just has a lot of fun with their day. At any rate, um, I appreciate you guys joining me. Um, let me know down in the comment section below. Are you uh, guys actually interested in a new Days Gone and Uncharted uh, games? Do you care that um, Naughty Dog is doing a lot more than, you know, working with another studio? Are you guys interested in watching um, and getting to get your hands on Resident Evil? And do you actually care that Xbox Game Pass is, is going to come to Steam? Let me know. At any rate, um... I do want to say, question of the day, what game are you guys most uh, curious about getting your hands on? I, wa I want to know what you guys want to get your hands on this year. I cannot wait to hear. At any rate, ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys enjoyed. But it's time for us to end off with a bouncing chow tzu up in the corner. I do appreciate you guys joining me. Down in the description down below is all of our lovely and beautiful creators. Go, So go check them all out. 
they are a lovely bunch of people, and they are a lovely bunch of coconuts. <laughs> So, go check out their channels, give them a big like, give them a big comment, and give them a really big subscribe, and tell them that the gaming news I sent you and Damien Dragon tips, their, um, tips his hat to them. And also down in the description down below is my personal channel, where I'm running down this month, Donkey Kong Country, and Samurai Jack The Shadows of Aku. If those games interest you, come over to my channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and bring it in for a very good day. Because it's going to be fucking sweet. But today, personally, I'm going to be playing Tony Ox American Wasteland, and I'm also going to be playing Assassin's Creed 2. So again, if those games interest you, come on over, hit that subscribe button, and sit down with a nice big helping of popcorn, and get yourself into some Dragon God of Gaming. So you're going to want to be here for all the action. I didn't know raid, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you guys enjoyed. But it's time for us to end off. Good gaming, happy hunting, and I'll see all you Dragonlings back inside the world of the gaming news. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time for some more Damien Dragon action. Peace.